Well, I've been hearing about all the progress they're making on this project, so I had to drop by and take a look at it. It's looking great, but I understand there's a real interesting process taking place inside. And the process that I'm talking about is going to make this addition very warm and cozy and very energy efficient. The guy that's taking care of it, half your chap. Pretty interesting stuff you got going here. What exactly are we looking at? This is cellulose insulation. It's made from 85% uh, newspaper, which is, is recycled products, very green. It qualifies for leaves. Uh, the other 15% is boric acid, which is the fire retardant, and it's the most fire retardant insulation you can get. Uh, you see it spraying in the wall, it's spraying around all the wiring. And yeah, how, how is it sticking to it though? Because I've seen cellulose in attics that it's just laying there, but uh, must be something in it. Right, this is a different process. It has a dry adhesive mix at the factory, so it's measuring in the factory. And actually, it's right now it's just sticking with the water, but the adhesive will dry over several days and cure and be full strength, keep it from setting. Now, the boric acid that you mentioned, that's perfectly harmless to, to individuals and everything, but I hear it's pretty good for a uh, bug repellent and everything. Right, actually, roach proof that Paul Harvey used to advertise was uh -huh. all his boric acid. Right, yeah. And uh, actually, boric acid used in urine. Oh, okay. It's actually, medicinal. Oh, I see, okay. Also, I noticed that before you guys got started, you foamed a lot of cracks and crevices. Uh, that's going the extra length that you really have to go to these days, right? right. Studies show that air infiltration is the biggest factor in energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. So we want to get all the key areas that are possible air infiltration sites, and then we blow the cellulose over top of them. And the cellulose is more tight than ordinary insulation. Mm -hmm. It's about 40% more airtight than uh, ordinary insulation. This stuff sure seems like a great solution to hold down energy costs. 